All right, guys, so for today's video, I found something really, really cool over on the layered clothing section on the Roblox Avatar Shop or Marketplace. Should I start calling the Avatar Shop the Marketplace? Let me know in the comment section. I don't know if I should or not. It sounds kind of strange, but maybe I'll get used to it. Anyway, like I was saying, I found something fascinating. If you guys are fans of Lego, especially Lego Star Wars, I think you're going to really appreciate this. Like, this is really cool stuff. Now, when I was a kid, guys, back in 2012, yes, a very long time, ago. I was very excited about a Roblox Lego Star Wars event. I saw hints of it. I think I remember somebody telling me about it in a game and I found information about it. However guys, this event was cancelled. It never got released. It had two accessories, two secret avatar packages, but nobody got to play it. The items never really saw the light of day. So let me show you some more info about the event. Look at this right, Lego Star Wars The Clone Wars. It was a cancelled Roblox event that would have been made to sponsor the Clone Wars line of Lego Star Wars play sets based on the Cartoon Network TV series of the same name. So this was a thing in 2012 and it was also the first Roblox event to be cancelled. So pretty interesting, right? We've got the logo, that's like the icon they would have used. And we also have two accessories. Now, I want you guys to pay close attention to these accessories, especially the lightsaber, because pretty much, guys, they're back on the Avatar shop. I'll get onto that in a second. So we had the Lego Star Wars Stormtrooper scope. I've never seen this Lego piece. The thing is, I was really into Lego in 2012. I remember my Avatar guns looking a bit different. I don't know if this was something released in America, I'm not really sure. We also had the Lego Star Wars Jedi lightsaber and everyone knows what these are. I remember I got triggered at my friend once because he was helping me build a Lego set and he put like the lightsaber piece in the other way around and I was like, oh no, you don't do it like that. I swear guys, when I was a kid, I was like such a perfectionist. Lego Star Wars was awesome, wasn't it? I guess it still is. I haven't bought a Lego Star Wars set in years. I wasn't even like the biggest Star Wars fan. I just love building stuff. Anyway, take a look at this, guys. There's some more info, right? This stuff's even crazier. The Lego Star Wars lightsaber and the Lego Star Wars clone trooper blaster were originally meant for a Star Wars event, along with a bundle for Darth Vader and a clone trooper, which were both never uploaded. They can still be found on the website of Stefan Job, a 3D modeler. So that's right. I didn't even know this. Shout out to the Roblox wiki, by the way. These guys have got some very good information. Now, I managed to go to this guy's website, so I found it on the Wayback Machine. I'm guessing it was probably updated and maybe he deleted this content. I don't really know. We can see here this guy's Stefan. Hopefully he doesn't mind me showing his stuff. I just want to show you guys. So this is some Roblox Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stuff. I remember this event back in 2012. I don't think I really played it to be honest though. The Lego event, I was more interested in that. So here we are. These are awesome. I've never seen these before. This is like my first time seeing these items. So Lego Star Wars Clone Wars. So we've got Darth Vader and we also have a clone trooper. These were going to be bundles inside of the game. I guess we can kind of create Roblox Lego characters anyway. If you guys haven't seen my video on that, you can go and watch it, guys. I'll link it down below. Look at these guys. They look awesome. That is so cool. There also was some other stuff on here. Uh, Lego Hero Factory. I love that event. So I used to play that quite a bit. Uh, we also had some different kind of Hero Factory stuff and some other various Roblox accessories this guy made. Oh, one of them's kind of important. Let me find it. It's this thing right here. You see this red blaster, right? Well, Roblox made a mistake with it. It actually shows up with an icon of one of the Lego gears inside of games. Let me show you guys that quickly. If we play the catalog avatar creator, I think this works with gears, right? I found the name of this item. So if I go on featured, I should be able to search it. Red Futron Blaster. It comes with this kind of like package thing. Actually, is that a different one? Oh, it might be the same. Anyway, let's just try the gear, right? So basically, if you select this gear, then you close out. Look at the icon. Can I just sort of take that off? Oh no, that doesn't work. Well, basically guys, the icon is not the same as the blaster. It's the icon from the Lego Star Wars set. There you go. You can see it a bit better. So that is very, very unusual. I don't know why Roblox would have made that mistake unless this item was originally the Lego Star Wars one and they just sort of like repurposed it or something. It's just a little mistake or error really, but I thought I would add it into the video. It's kind of cool. Okay, let's get on to the main thing that I really wanted to show you guys. Like I was saying, somebody has re-uploaded all of these deleted Lego items as UGC lead clothing accessories. It's so strange. Yeah, take a look at this. I'll leave a link to this group down below. I don't quite know if they're going to get away with this for much longer, but look, they've got all of the Lego lightsabers. Also some kind of weird ones like red and gold handles and stuff. Anyway, they've got the guns as well, so maybe we can take a look at some inside of a game. Let me show you a close-up first so we can see they're identical. They're literally the same to the ones that were going to be uploaded in 2012. Actually, these ones might be a bit better. Maybe the quality 
quality is a bit better on these. They also look more like Lego pieces. But yes, they are uploaded as lead clothing jackets. They're only 50 Robux, which I think is pretty reasonable. I guess the downside is they don't really work on R6, but you can see on R15, your character holds a Lego lightsaber. And because they're not gears, technically you could use them in any Robux game. So I think that's pretty cool. We also have the gun. So I remember these when I was a kid. I really like these pieces. They were sort of like the pistols. They looked awesome. I used to put like one each in my Lego figure's hand and they were like dual sort of a combo pistols. That was sick. So we also have a crossbow. I don't know if this was used in Lego Star Wars sets. I think maybe Chewbacca had one of these. I can't really remember. I used to play the Lego Star Wars game a lot on the PlayStation 2. But yeah, this one's kind of cool as well. And then we've got one of the laser and then we have one of the laser sniper rifles. Again, I really liked this Lego piece. This one's a little bit more pricey than the lightsabers, but it still looks awesome. And of course, we've got the normal sized blasters as well. You know, I don't really know how these guys are going to get away with this stuff because I swear Lego would have copyrighted these. But there we go. We can see how long they survive, I guess. I'll link everything down below, guys. I like how they've called them holdable brick sabers. You might as well just call them lightsabers at this point. Anyway, let's try one inside of a game. Maybe we can try the red one. So here we are playing as Anakin before he turns into Darth Vader. The only thing I would say about these accessories is maybe the positioning isn't that brilliant. They could have made that a bit better if I'm being honest. Also, I'm kind of wondering, how did they get these items? Did they like download the mesh of like a Lego building website or something? I don't know. They seem kind of accurate to be like remade. But yeah, anyway, I like them. They might not work so much with the man package though. Yeah, I've got to be honest, guys, they do work a lot better with like the standard sort of blocky avatars 1.0. What's this guy called, by the way? I remember him in Lego Star Wars and I wanted to play as him, but I don't think he was an unlockable character. I think it was just like a side character or something. Let me know his name in the comment section though. I think he's kind of cool. He's got like a super long head. Who remembers this guy as well? Mace Windu, right? He was one of my favorite characters when I was a kid. I don't know why. I just thought he was cool. Was he like one of the only guys with a purple lightsaber or something? I think it was something like that. Can any of you name this guy? I could be wrong, but I think this is the guy that defends the eye space. Wasn't it called like Hoth or something? I remember that from Star Wars Battlefront. I think this is one of those guys, sort of like the um, ice people thing. Oh, I don't know. But again, yeah, I kind of like these weapons. They look really cool. And so there we are, guys, finishing off the video with a clone trooper. I guess this guy's a special one. I forgot his name. Was it Rex or something? Maybe. But there we have it. That is the new Lego Star Wars layered clothing accessories. They're not official, but they are nice because like I said, Roblox was going to do a Lego Star Wars event over 10 years ago. It got cancelled. So I guess it's kind of cool we get a chance to check out these gears again. Obviously, this time they're not really gears. Well, kind of. They're layered clothing gears, which is something I was going to make a video about. I don't know if I'm still going to do it. I planned that ages ago and then forgot about it. But yeah, there you go. I also noticed, guys, on this group, they weren't just uploading Lego accessories. They were also uploading stuff from Halo. It's so like the needlers, the plasma guns, the sort of like assault rifles and things. They were also uploading some 8-bit guns. There's tons of like copyrighted stuff here. Well, kind of copyrighted. Some of the stuff is identical. Some of it isn't. But like I said, if you guys want to buy any of their stuff, then yeah, go for it.